going on? So I'm going to do NFL Week 3 um, thoughts and takes about what I see so far. It's really a bunch of – you can tell the have and the have nots in the NFL so far. I'm going to tell you, man, where do I start? Um, <laughs> you know, the Jets, they stink. I like the uniforms, but they stink. Washington is just real booty. I mean, they stink. I mean, God, what happened to Washington? And Miami, it's like go to vacation because you ain't, I mean, you suck. Then I'm walking around, like, looking at what I'm seeing, the whole mess with A.B. A.B. should be playing as Antonio, Antonio Brown should be playing. Um, he should be playing for real, you know. There's no reason why he shouldn't be playing. But, you know, the racism in the NFL and their politics, but he should be playing. I won't hear nobody say he got multiple chances. He ain't get convicted of nothing. They treat him like Kaepernick, you know. And they ran him out. If you're getting sued for a lawsuit and you're not getting charged for something that's sexual related, then why aren't you playing? And they don't want to give him his money. They trying to they trying to white ball him. So EB got white ball. But anyway, looking around, um, the Vikings look good as long as Kirk Cousins don't get under, don't have to, don't come down to him, and they okay. Chicago, they their defense is top tier. Like Khalid Mack. Like my cousin Lawrence Taylor, he was balling last night. But Trubisky, I don't know. The jury's still out on him. Uh, Green Bay's looking good. They looking like they they looking like they bought something. Denver sucks. You know Joe Flacco is just like Eli Manning. You know he, he, he's clutching the postseason, but this ain't the postseason. You got to play during the season. And I don't know what John Elway was smoking when he said this guy was entering his prime in his peak because he sucks. The Raiders they stank. You knew this was going in. I don't know. I understand why EB got out of there. They stink. So you can see that happening. See, it's a have, have not league already. Um, the the Giants, Daniel Jones looked good against, but they play Tampa Bay. That don't count. And you know they should have lost that game. They're not that good at all. They're not good at all. Pittsburgh is dog, and it's gonna be a long year there. Um. You know, I, I feel for Mike Tomlin because he's a top-tier coach, but they're not that good. Indianapolis, keep your eye on brisket. And I'm telling you, they play composed ball. They'll make a lot of mistakes. Keep your eye on them. Jacksonville, the jury's out because once they get rid of Jalen Ramsey, what they going to do, the jury's out. Cleveland, Baker Mayfield look another loudmouth white boy that's overrated. I'm sorry, but he ain't got it. He ain't got it. His mouth and his game, he's like he's like a, a a tier better than Johnny Manziel, but basically the same cat. Loud mouth, throws too many picks, telegraphs too much, and it's just not clutch. And he and all these quarterbacks throwing off their back foot and trying to I don't know what they doing. Stop trying to make it. Stop trying to throw drops up there. That's the problem I had with my Bills because Josh Allen was trying to throw them tear drops. Yeah, Buffalo's three and zero, but he got to step it up. Our defense is on point, but he got to step it up against New England this week. Patriots still look like the Patriots. They took their foot off. They they was waxing on the giant the Jets. Um, wasn't surprised by New Orleans beating Seattle because I think Seattle ain't got no defense. Russell Wilson is gangster, but he ain't got no receiver. If you ever had a top tier receiver, you see some crazy numbers. But Seattle's defense is lame. Saints ain't gonna fall as much off without Breezy as people think. If Bridgewater stays in the pocket and stay poised, they're not that far off. That's going to be an interesting game against Dallas. They're not that far off. Don't sleep on them. Don't think they're going to get light. The Rams, the jury's still out. Um, can't, because I'm waiting for Jerry Goff to either go, go off or can't really tell. Same thing with Detroit. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, hard to say early. Colin Murray is still a rookie. You can still see he's green. But he's going to be interesting, I promise. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback that's not nine, not named Tom Brady. And the best quarterback in the sense that uh, if we take Jury out the equation, he's something special. Told you the Steph Curry of quarterbacks. Keep an eye on Mr. Mahomes. Kansas City got a chance to be the next dynasty in the NFL. If stay healthy, everybody. And he don't even have Tyreek Hill. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Cincinnati stinks. I can go down by. There's a lot of garbage teams in the NFL. You can see it right now. So, you know, I don't know if I'm going to go by case by case. Dak Prescott is balling. You should get paid. 
I don't know how good the Cowboys really are, but Dak is balling. Zeke is Zeke, but Dak is balling. You pay that brother, and he shouldn't take no discount. Carson Wentz is balling, but I still think Nick Foles has got, like, the magic wand. I just – I can't really say. Something about Philly and him, it just was, like, magical. So, Jimmy G and Frisco, jury's still out. They're 3-0, and but – can't really make heads or tails how good they really are right now. Some of these teams, it's some window dressing, shopping. Can't really tell till they play somebody, and then we can see how it all plays out. But I will say this thus far in the NFL, the haves and the have-nots is wide open. It's a big old gap. Teams that stank, stank. And teams that are good are good, and the great are great. But it's a big old gap. But that's my take on week three in the NFL. Give me your thoughts on your take, what you're seeing so far, what trends you're seeing. I think big playmaker receivers are actually needed, ironically, with the whole thing with AB, because a few teams could use a big time receiver. But that's my thoughts. You have a good day. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. I'm out. Peace.